Okay, after 12 NFL seasons, Kurt Warner has decided to retire. Uh, this man, in my opinion, is a, is, a, is a Hall of Famer. He's done tremendous work on and off the field. Among his accomplishments on the field, four times he's been voted to the Pro Bowl, two NFL MVPs. He was the fastest player to reach 10,000 passing yards. He owns the top three performances in Super Bowl history, not to mention his 14, 414 passing yards in Super Bowl 34 as an NFL record when he did it with the St. Louis Rams. He has the highest completion percentage in a single game in NFL history, 92.3%. Uh, back in September of 2009, that was this season. Three Super Bowl appearances, one Super Bowl MVP, and one Vince Lombardi trophy. Those are just some of his accomplishments on the field. If we're going to take a look at statistics alone, 32,344 passing yards, 208 touchdowns. This guy it, it, it likes to play in high-powered offenses like he did in St. Louis, he did it in Arizona, and he uh, it was also a tremendous quarterback in the Arena League. Uh, among his off-the-field contributions, he was a 2008, he was voted the 2008 Walter Payton NFL Man of the Year uh, Award winner. Uh, he was voted uh, by USA Today in 2009 as the, as the most caring athlete. He topped in a Sports Illustrated poll of best NFL role models on and off the field. That was in 2009. And also in 2009, he was the recipient of the Muhammad Ali Sports Leadership Award. Not to mention uh, his First Things First Foundation that um, uh, that uh, helps and contributes with numerous projects and causes uh such as children's hospitals, people with developmental disabilities, and assisting single parents. Um, not to mention he also has seven kids, and he puts faith and family first. If you want to put all of that in one big melting pot, then this guy, to me, belongs in the Hall of Fame, not only in the NFL, but if there was a a Hall of Fame for families or whatever. This guy is it. He had his press conference on Friday. Took him 40 minutes. Thanked everybody that was involved in his career. Thanked his family. And most importantly, his, God above for everything that he's been able to do. Everybody knows his story. He played at Northern Iowa. Graduated from Northern Iowa. And then he was... Uh, then he was. Then he found himself bagging groceries uh, at a local at a local supermarket in Iowa. Uh, he was cut from numerous uh, NFL training camps, including uh, the Packers training camp in, two, in 1994. Um, and uh, he, he got his shot in the Arena League, and and he and he stormed through the Arena League. And then he finally got his chance in 1998 with the St. Louis Rams. And um, he was the third string backup uh, to Tony Banks and Steve Bono in St. Louis. After that 98 season, the Rams cut Banks and Bono. And then the Rams also signed Trent Green uh, to be their starting quarterback in 1999. And uh, Kurt Warner was then um, moved up. Uh, the totem pole. He was the he was the second string backup uh, to Trent Green. Green goes down in the preseason game with the '99 season, and then in comes Kurt Warner, and the rest, as they say, is history. 1999, 2000, and 2001. Those three, those first three seasons for Kurt Warner as the starting quarterback at St. Louis, the Rams posted 500 points or more in all three of those seasons. Two Super Bowl appearances in three years. And that won Vince Lombardi Trophy for Super Bowl 34. Again, Kurt Warner retires after 12 seasons in the NFL. Three different NFL franchises. The St. Louis Rams, the New York Giants, and the Arizona Cardinals. Three Super Bowl appearances. One Vince Lombardi Trophy. And not to mention that Super Bowl MVP. This has been the post for today by me, the Relentless Rebel. And we'll be seeing you next time.